Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at Finn from the Walmart exclusive line of Star Wars 3 and 3 quarter inch action figures. This guy is pretty cool, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. Here it is. It's uh, pretty standard for these uh, for this wave of figures. It's got a nice big window on the front here to see the figure. And then down in this bottom corner, it's got a picture of Finn here. Then on the back, it's got a brief description of the character. If you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. And then over here on the side, it's got another picture of Finn here done in black and white, or uh, grayscale rather. Uh, so anyway, uh, pretty standard packaging, so let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself here. Finn stands at, let's see here, about three and three quarter inches tall, maybe a little over that. Um, so he's right in scale with all of your other uh, Star Wars figures. And he does come with one accessory. That is his blaster here. There is a ton of detail on here, if it'll focus, um, and a lot of paintwork. And it's not showing up on camera because it's it's a really, really small detail, but it looks like they hydro dipped this um, to get the um, weathering effects on there. Um, when you have it in hand, um, it shows up. It looks like a low resolution printer. You can kind of see it uh, here on the top. So that's not my favorite technique for weathering. Um, I wish they would do something else um, on there, but it's not a huge deal because it's so small that the uh, camera's um, just barely picking it up. But if you have it in hand, you can see uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway, as far as the figure's articulation is concerned, it's uh, pretty good. He's got a ball peg here in the neck. Um, just because of the sculpt of the uh, head, doesn't have the greatest range of motion up and down or really any range of motion up and down. And then it's mostly just the swivel. He has ball hinge shoulders. Uh, they go 360. He's got hinged elbows with a swivel and then hinged wrists uh, with a swivel. Uh, one thing I don't like about the um, wrist hinge on this figure is that they are molded in the same color as his jacket. Um, so I wish they had done a, a brown uh, colored peg there so that it matches you know the skin tone on the hands. And then in the torso here, he's got a, a swivel and then there's no articulation at the waist then. Um, and then he has a uh, ball hinged uh, hips. And I absolutely hate when they do this on figures. It gives them a pretty nice range of motion, um, but it makes their their leg kick out to the side when you pull it forward. And then you have to rotate the uh, the knee around and it just looks weird uh, to me. And I've never liked um, like this unless they do the thigh swivel. Uh, it doesn't bother me when they do that thigh swivel there, but um, as it is now, I don't like it. It's not the worst. Um, it definitely works and it gives you a nice range of, of motion, but I just don't like that type of joint for hip joints. Um, he has hinged knees uh, with a swivel and then he's got hinged ankles uh, again with a swivel. So overall, uh, the detail on this figure is good. The paintwork is, you know, pretty good, um, uh, both on, on Finn and on the blaster. And then the articulation is pretty good. So. If you like Finn as a character, I would definitely recommend picking this guy up if you see him on rollback um, at Walmart because they are trying to get rid of these right now. Um, I definitely wouldn't pay the original asking price of like 14 bucks. Uh, that's way too high for a figure of this size um, and quality. Um, so I would definitely only buy this guy if you see him for a uh, you know a reduced price. But um, anyway, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I guess I'll see you later.